Good morning everyone and welcome to a brand new YouTube video. I'm guessing that you're all very excited because in this video we will be announcing the winner of the giveaway. I've received so many comments and so many more than I've expected. So thank you to everyone that participated. Thank you for all the subscribes. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for watching my content. I really, really appreciate it. Um, it means a lot to me that you guys find it interesting and that you find it helpful. Um, so I'm really thankful for each and every one of you that participated and yes i hope i wish i could give it all to everyone give it to everyone because i really think it could help a lot of you and i really think it's probably very very beneficial so in this video we're going to be doing the announcements we're going to do the uh, random comment picker so it's going to be completely random i'm not biased towards anything of it i'm not choosing someone um, and then being unfair to someone else. So really for me, the best way to choose someone randomly is just to use a random comment picker. I've set it up here, I have everything ready. So we'll be choosing that winner soon. Sorry for those that might hear the dogs. That's Nola and Louie. Um, someday I should probably post a video on it. Content is coming out now. We're gonna do a, a video and talking about smart money concepts that I use personally and then we will be um doing the giveaway so hope you're all ready and excited so let's jump into it so i've set up something here um talking about liquidity and uh, we're just going to talk about the main concepts that i use in um in forex and smart money concepts that i use and they are imbalance order blocks previous highs and lows so those are the main things that i use in trading so we're just going to do some a recap remember the pattern where we have an impulse and we have a pullback and then we have a continuation that usually happens and we see it coming back to an order block so we have here order block which is then also supply we have then also a previous high and that is also liquidity and then we also have liquidity over here which is just our green line liquidity and then we wait for price to come back towards the upside and potentially we maybe have some imbalance in this area as well so in this case in this perfect textbook example we have an order block imbalance previous high or imbalance order block previous highs and then we can also identify structure breaks so potentially we'll get the arrow up there we had a structure break over there which indicates bearish momentum if we had a structure break towards the downside that up there construction break towards it down so that's just a, a basic pattern so just remember that and then we also have the classic entry pattern that i've shown as well in this case we have a previous low where we've taken the liquidity which is our sweep so you've a lot of you will know that i've spoken about a sweep and that's just basically price moving grabbing the liquidity above or below a previous high and low and then moving in the opposite direction so we have a sweep over there a structure break and then a price returning to a order block in this case let's just write that out this order block will then be demand demand is at the bottom supply is at the top so just keep that in mind and then we also have here our structure break which is actually just a sweep liquidity sweep sorry Liquidity sweep and then the structure break towards the upside. So this is pretty common and we've discussed this um, in previous videos and it's nothing new. But these are really the main concepts that I use within my trading. And possibly we can see then imbalance in that area as well. So I've given this patterns, um, I've given these patterns in the previous videos and previous posts for a reason because they are the most common ones that I that I use. And now we're gonna look at some examples. So just to reiterate and just 
um, get the concept across the concept that I look use imbalance or block previous highs and lows and those are the most important ones and then we look at structure breaks and gen general liquidity and so just under general liquidity we have a few things that we just need to point out before going further so we have trend line liquidity we have equal highs we have equal lows and then we have just previous lows and previous highs so those are the areas that we look at for liquidity we have liquidity resting below resting above we have liquidity resting above resting below and then we have liquidity below and above the red lines is where we see liquidity now i'm going to show you how we look at them for entries but now for just direction we see price grab the liquidity below the red line and go up we see price grab the liquidity below the red line go up we see price grab the liquidity above the red line go down we see price grab the liquidity above go down let's just make this right otherwise it's going to bother my head grab it above and go down and we see it grab it below and go up so we just make this quickly a different color that is the area where we look for price the thing that we do look for price to make the movement the, the anticipating price to create that movement and grab the liquidity in that area before going in the opposite direction in this case this is very nice because we have also hold low the same as this one and the same is true for bullish and bearish i'm not just going to write all those examples out but yes you get the point just something that i want to write in here as well is on our way towards the upside towards the liquidity above the high we could be creating trend line liquidity before going towards the downside again so those are just some general areas and concepts of liquidity very rushed because i want to get to the giveaway so um, study this have a look on your charts and pay attention to these diagrams draw them out for yourself and then you'll see them on your charts as well so now we're just going to look at a few examples in this case we have eu we price tapped into imbalance look we're looking for imbalance or one of our areas so don't come and ask me now why we didn't wait for the order block that's completely up to our strategy and the specific rules regarding the strategy that we teach in the community um so let's look at the 50 minute quickly for entries on the five sorry let's do the five minutes here we have the liquidity grab we have a push towards the downside in this case we didn't really have a clean entry this was just a massive crash on eu but possible entries in there again let's look at another example there we have a an order block um price pushing up into it no Im imbalance but just price pushing up into the order block and we push down you can see we also have the structure break and then price coming back exactly this example except we don't have the imbalance but we have a structure break price correcting coming back towards the upside and then pushing down towards the downside again we have another order block in here you see price come back into this area uh, let's have a look at some more examples there's a nice order block we also have a structure break price pushing down coming back into this area and there we have potential trade this is all just on the one hour guys so you don't have to just trade on the lower time frames you can trade the same concepts on the lower time frames there we have an order block structure break price pushing breaking structure coming back into the order block and we have a sweep so remember this pattern this one exactly the same thing so we have a sweep there 
then followed by the structure break so let's just quickly put that in there uh yeah this is structure break liquidity grab or liquidity sweep whatever and then there's the return to the order block all in the one hour and there's your entry stop loss below and then you take the trade um yeah, so there's a few those are just a few of the concepts that we look at there's another one nice example an order block there we have our structure break we have trend line liquidity trend line liquidity and then price taps into the order block and then we see the move towards the upside okay so those are the key concepts but now we just need to define an order block better that's probably going to be in another video um, but just quickly i love to see full body candles as order blocks look there full body candle with a strong impulsive move out of it um full body candle strong impulsive move out of it um so again let's see for another example uh, so this is not hindsight cherry picking i'm literally going through the chart and looking for areas so this is also not bad relatively strong not that full body candle um not sure if it reached anywhere um so we need to just follow the direction and be um this was a trade i think that some of the guys in the community took where we had a relatively strong full body candle with an impulsive move out of it and then followed by the entry over there and take profit at the previous high so that's a quick was a quick trade well not as quick because it's on the one hour time frame so yes okay those are just some of the few key concepts that i use in my trading trying to give you some examples and um yes i hope that made sense make some notes of it i'm gonna do some more videos on this but now now it's time to go to the giveaway so this is the moment you've all been waiting for and i am very excited to jump on it right now so i'm gonna just quickly go there so we are ready we are ready almost ready let's get our comments okay guys it's ready i'm about to pick the winner how do you feel well i feel excited i hope you do as well i hope you've gone through the whole video and didn't skip a lot of things and just wait till the end if you did you missed some good good content um so go back and watch it again okay we are ready excuse all the ads but i'm gonna press this button this start button and everything will start so i just realized that i don't think you saw the um my mouse because for some reason i need to have the crosshair on to show the mouse and if i just have the arrow it doesn't show the mouse but that's fine we've done it i'm not able to do the video again so guys this is where you, why you're all here we're gonna do the picking now okay just make sure we are recording yes we are okay let's start arun kumar from india congratulations you are the winner please send me a message i'm just gonna make a screenshot of this and then we have it saved as well screenshot made um congratulations arun kumar congratulations you are the winner of the free giveaway your profile picture looks like uh damien from vampire Diaries. if that's you well done man good profile picture so that is it for this video congratulations to the winner i am very happy that we've done this it has been a good um experience i think for all of us and yes thank you for watching thank you for staying till the end that is it from me. See you all in the next one.